Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Today we get the last of the Team of the Year cards finally in packs in FC24, and that is the Team of the Year Defenders. We're actually going to have more cards in packs today than we've had through the entirety of Team of the Year thus far, and instead of six Team of the Years, we'll have 10 different Team of the Year cards in packs. Not only that, the midfielders going out of packs with the Team of the Year Icon Team 1 today. Those are all going out of packs, but coming back in today is a new set of Team of the Year Icons along with those new defenders and potentially the biggest SBC that we will get during Team of the Year. So if you're excited for that today, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about it first by going over yesterday's 12th player vote, right? 12th man vote and 12th women vote was dropped in the game yesterday. They dropped them as packs. It's a player pick, but it's a pack, which is actually a problem. If you have more than 30 packs in the store, you can't actually open it on the game. You'd have to go to your web app or your companion app and sift through all those packs to find a vote for these players. We have Ronaldo, Trent, and Valverde. That was leaked before. Not a surprise there. Guys, I would like to say that Trent or Valverde maybe has a chance in this vote. But it's Ronaldo through and through. He was the first card to show up in the player pick. Of course, it was a one-game loan for their gold cards. Um, and these, the winners of this, will be announced probably on Thursday or maybe just dropped straight into packs on Friday. But that is the drop date. The winner of this vote and the women's vote will be put into packs on Friday. It seems like Ronaldo's going to win, right? I mean, I would, yeah, it's Ronaldo. Let's be completely honest. He's going to win the fan vote here. Uh, deserved or not, whatever, it's going to sell packs. And he's in the vote and he's probably going to win. Now to the women's vote. This one's pretty interesting. Pop, Benini, and Olga Carmona are in the vote for the women's side of things. I voted for Olga Carmona and I think that she might have the biggest uh, chance of winning because she is Real Madrid. Although Pop had a pretty cool Centurions card earlier on this year and would be a really nice link to a perfect link actually to Oberdorf. That would be a great link to have in Team of the Year. And Benini had a, a card earlier on this year in the very beginning of the game that was very overpowered and a lot of people used her card. And Atletico Madrid, Madrid links are nothing to scoff at. So that's the 12th player vote for the men and the women. And it is confirmed. EA said it in the little info message yesterday in the game that those will be dropped into pass packs on Friday. Now, speaking of packs, we got the upgrades, right? All the packs that we were expecting to get yesterday, we basically got. Now, the first one I want to cover is the simple one, the 83 times to 5 midfielder upgrade, same requirements as it was released before, just like the attacker's upgrade released earlier this past weekend. You can do it three times a day. It'll refresh again today. I'm spending the coins to go out and do these because it's not that expensive. Literally, if you look at Footbin, this 83.5 is 16K to do. For a chance at a team of the year, three to six different times, right? I'll spend the 16K times six to get this one done straight out of the pocket, right? We're in that time of the, of the year now where we're spending those hard-earned coins on these upgrade packs, and I intend to do that with those for the chance, right? I'm saving these, though, for the full team and hopefully the honorable mentions that get released on Friday um, because that means more cards and packs potentially able to be packed. Now, of course, the big SBCs, the upgrade packs, the premium and the base versions of each of these league-specific upgrades. Now, one thing that I actually failed to notice yesterday is these packs, I thought it was seven golds and four rares. It's seven non-rare golds and four rares. 11 players in each of these packs, which is a lot better than what I was envisioning in my head last night. This is actually a W premium upgrade. Compared to last year, there's more players in it, which means we're going to have more non-rares, which is going to make the menu crafting and the grind of these Team of the Year upgrade packs a lot better. And your fodder is going to go a lot longer away this year with the way that the packs are set up. So you've got a lot of the main leagues, right? you got the top five leagues, and then also you have MLS and the NWSL combination, as we talked about in yesterday's video. Now, these are just requiring 11 gold rares. These are the big upgrades, guys, right? The premium upgrades are the ones that you're probably going to want to start off doing straight off of the bat if you're buying gold rares. The best thing to put them into is some league of the premium upgrades. Now, the question is, number one, what's the best crafting situation? We'll talk about that. And number two, what is the best league for fodder for chance at team of the years? I love this graphic that foot.gg tweeted yesterday because not only does it show the amount of team of the years that you can pack from these upgrades, but it also shows you the rarity of how many golds are 81 plus or 85 plus. And of course, Premier League and La Liga, right? Those are the top two upgrade packs, of course, with nine and five team of the years able to be packed from those. Premier League, I did the most of those. La Liga, a lot of people are doing right now because if they're opening packs while the midfielders are in packs, you could technically pack Jude, um, Puteas, or 
Bon Mati, which would be very difficult, but technically possible. So I think some of people are doing those right now. I'm not open in these packs right now, though. Like this, these are packs that I bought 300 and something thousand coins worth of gold rares yesterday to start building these packs, but to save them for Thursday, Friday, and into the next week where we're going to be crafting these every single day. Now, notice something interesting here. Don't sleep on League One. I was talking about this on stream yesterday. League One is a league every year for upgrade packs that is always shouted, and a lot of people like to do them because you've got Mbappe, right? This year, you've got three Team of the Year cards, Mbappe, Renard, and Karchawi, which means if you're hitting a Team of the Year, you're hitting a pretty good one because all three of those cards look really cracked, and there's only 89 gold rares in that league, but 52 of them are 81+, plus, and 30 of them are are 85 rated you have really good fodder opportunities to get higher rated cards from these upgrade packs with the limited number of rares league one is a really good shout for maybe if you do a bunch of prem and la liga maybe with your rares and your non-rares that you get well specifically the rares you recycle those back into league one because 30 85 rated rares out of the 89 that are possible that's a really good opportunity to just get a lot of high-rated fodder and honestly a chance at the team of the year as well. And of course, the MLS, um, that's for Messi, that's for Sophia Smith. I'm going to be rinsing into a lot of those. So I think La Liga and Premier League are the best, and those are the ones that I've stocked up a lot of. But I will be doing some League One and some NWSL as well because I'm chasing those specific team of the years. Now, here's the biggest question. What's the best craft, right? We talked about it from the beginning, buying the gold rares, is the best way to go about this or just getting gold rares somehow you can get a lot of gold rares through the menus right just doing all the objective games like for draft right now and all of that um it's honestly it's nice gold rares right now are still 700 coins right and it looks like they're gonna stay that way they're not like i mean even if these are expiring at 650 not even going uh on bid or or bought at 700 so it is still very easy to get gold rares right now that might get a little bit harder after today as more and more people get excited for these and start doing these but specifically um once we get to thursday when the full team is out it's going to get a bit tougher so if you want to take the easy route now and do kind of what i started to do you can see 80 packs up there i only had like 28 yesterday i built around 50 yesterday of these upgrade packs just by buying the gold rares and build in the SBCs and then now I'm just letting them sit until I want to actually open them later on in the week. Now let's talk about the best kind of like scenario and how you go through this. We talked right from the beginning, buy the golds, put them into this. Once you start opening these premium upgrade packs, what do you do with the rares and the non-rares that you get back? One disappointing thing about yesterday's content is we didn't get a player pick they were all regular upgrade packs and last year we had a 75 plus player pick which seems low right but it actually was pretty good during team of the year for crafting and fodder now not all hope is lost for that because we have an 81 plus double and some of these other upgrade packs like the winter wild cards crafting upgrade as well that are going away this friday there's a good chance that we still could get maybe this 81 plus double back but also another player pick sbc like a 78 plus or maybe an 80 plus if they want to be really nice to us that would be insane an 80 plus player pick during this time of the year with all the crafting would be crazy so if they do release something like that it could be later on this weekend but right now if you're getting ready to craft these or even if you're going to open today for some of the defenders right there's a lot of premier league links in the defenders like for uh, erps right you've got um goalkeeper herbs you've got allison goalkeeper you've got vvd you got ruben diaz in there as well so you got options M millie bright is also a prem defender uh, or the prem packs as we call them right so i think those packs could be open today what are you doing with your non-rares that's the biggest question i think you're putting your non-rares right now into the other league specific upgrades because these only require 11 non-rare golds which seems like a little bit of a lot but you're turning in 11 non-rares to give yourself a chance at still a team of the year. I've packed team of the years from these sorts of packs in previous years. Um, four players and one rare. So not bad, not terrible. Could be a little bit better. Um, maybe you mixed it up and put a few of them into the 81 plus double. Um, if you're opening any packs today, I've been doing a bunch of the Winter Wild Cards crafting upgrades still. I think this is the best place to put your gold commons right now if you're opening upgrade packs. Because yes, you do get three gold rares back and you're getting the all of the uh, objectives completed as well. Like I've got 79 to go. I'm probably not going to finish this whole thing, but I'll hopefully get it down to like maybe 20 or 30 to go where I'll be getting some decent packs by the end. And it'll make me think about actually trying to grind it all the way. So that's kind of the upgrade pack situation. Get gold rares, put them into the premiums, and then go into either the 81 double or the base upgrades for that specific 
league. So that's what I would say there. And I, I guys, I don't think that gold rares are going to rise up at least before tomorrow. We're getting more lightning rounds and supply today. That's something to talk about as well. Um, we'll get to that in just a second. But one last thing on yesterday, the last, actually, this is not the last. This was Group C. So we have more FC Pro Live games to come in the coming Mondays. But we had Group C with Deli Ali, Koulibaly, Simicon, and Lozano all getting upgrades. Koulibaly and Simicon are the only remaining live cards after yesterday's match day. So um, do, be, do with that what you will. I think Koulibaly is actually inflated a little bit on the market. I think he's a bit expensive right now. As a lot of people, a lot of people have invested in this card. Yeah, he's uh, he's almost max price. His max price is 80k, and he was like 50 something k or 65k yesterday. And yeah, he's up a lot in value. But he's going to be going to a 90 overall and be getting a play style uh, because he is qualified for the next round and still live. Same thing with Simicon. He's going to go to 88 rated as well. So big upgrades there for those guys. If you missed it. The Easter Egg Mystery Nation is Sweden. So take your, I know all of you guys still have that um, showdown Kulusevsky like I do in the club, right? Take that out for a spin, hit a couple finesse shots, three finesse shots, get a coin boost, and an 83 plus player pack. So that's the Mystery Nation. It is Sweden. Now, let's get into today, right? New cards coming into packs, which is definitely going to impact the market. It's definitely going to impact some things. Oh, just a second. I jumped the gun. We got to talk about Team of the Year midfielders. I said we were going to do a price check on Team of the Year's every day, and we didn't do that yet. Team of the Year midfielders dropped a lot yesterday. They finally upgraded Puteas' price range. He's right around 6 million coins. But if you take a look at a lot of these card graphs, Bon Mati was above 4.5 mil, I think, to start the day. 4.9 mil. Look at this graph. All just down the entire day. She reached a low point of about 3.5 and is now rebounding back up, right? There were just drops all day long. Oberdorf was not quite the same. I bought Oberdorf last night. I ended up selling for a tax loss today. Tried her out in Weekend League. She's actually pretty good. It was a really solid card. I used her at center back, and uh, she held her own. I mean, even being a little bit shorter with the bruiser, with the intercept plus and 95 physical, she definitely held her own there. For the men's team of the year icons, KDB. Rodri and Jude also dropped a ton yesterday in price, but it looks like they're starting to rebound right now as well. So KDB going from 3.3 mil down to about 2.6. He just was 2.67. And I actually added one to my transfer targets to see where it would go since I technically can't afford this card. Yeah, he's 2.7 mil right now, and it looks like he is about to rise. You know, yes, these cards are going out of packs today, and I'm I'm genuinely interested in in these guys. Like, if I could get a KDB for 2.6, I'd maybe try to flip it. But man, we're getting to that point of the week where I don't really want to spend too many coins on these cards, especially because once we get to Wednesday, uh, ooh, Rodri's still low, 2.19. Once we get to Wednesday, once we get to Thursday, uh, these cards are definitely going to be panic sold a little bit, and I imagine they're going to drop in price. So. I would be careful with those team of the year cards for sure. Um, and maybe for the attackers as well. Maybe if you're trying out Sam Kerr or Sophia Smith, they're down just a little bit. I think they could end up dropping further today into tomorrow. And especially on Thursday, as people get prepared for the full team being in packs and yet again, another spree of packs to be open. So I'd be careful with that if we're talking team of the year prices right now in this game. Now let's talk about the team of the year defenders, right? Because the midfielders and icon team one are going out of packs today. Let's look at the defenders, guys, because like I mentioned in the intro, we've got not only 10 team of the year uh, cards coming into packs today, but they might be some of the cheapest team of the years yet because defenders are usually a bit cheaper than some of the attackers and midfielders, which means People can afford them, and that means that people go out and buy them, and maybe we'll hurt some other card prices on the market and some other team of the years. Let's talk about it, right? Teo Hernandez is going to be dropping today at left back with 98 pace, jockey and quick step. VVD's card looks absolutely insane. He's going to be mental. Ruben Diaz, I think, looks really good too. 88 pace on Ruben Diaz. Huge pace boost. Um, 95 defense and 93 physical. He's going to be an absolute wall. The Frimpong with the whipped pass plus. Like, I think Frimpong, he should be cheap, quote unquote cheap. Like, I'm talking maybe, um, based on what I predicted his price earlier on, I think I predicted too high for basically the entire team. But this card to me looks like it might be like a million coins, maybe starting at like 1.3 to 4 and then dropping lower. But like, it could be lower than that, guys, because the pack weight, I'm still kind of with it. The pack weight seems to be pretty decent on these cards. It really does. So I'm excited to see how cheap or expensive at the same time these defenders are today. And then Allison is going to be probably 
uh, the cheapest card in the men's team for sure. Under a million coins, I would imagine today, and probably like 500,000 coins. Wouldn't be surprised if he's there. So watch out for those guys, and we're going to talk about lightning rounds and supply for these cards because I think there's going to be, again, a lot today on this game. There's a pattern that's been forming with the release days of these positional releases, what packs they put in the store. Now, for the women's team, I think we're going to have some really interesting cards here as well. I think these are, yet again, if Oberdorf, I, like, I look at Oberdorf's card, and I see a card that is 700,000 coins in this market. I look at this team of the year defense for the women's side, and I think I see at least two, maybe even three cards today that are going to be dropped less than a million coins. Erps for sure. I think Erps is going to end up being like 150k next week. Um, she's going to be the probably the easiest team of the year to pack. I think Millie Bright as well. Not a bad card, but I still think it's actually very comparable to Oberdorf. If you look at their stats, Oberdorf may be a little bit better with better passing and dribbling. Uh, but I think maybe Millie Bright with the aerial play style might be kind of nice. So I think she's going to be under a million coins for sure. She might be like 500k uh, today. On a battle will be the other one that might be under a million coins. Look Really good looking card for sure uh especially with incisive pass but um i think she might end up being decently packable renard and karchawi however look pretty cracked karchawi is going to be pretty expensive uh whipped pass plus right that's kind of like it's it's going to be the expensive basha if you will with way better defending and of course just better stats all around that's going to be a crazy card and then renard renard looks like a beast like 96 defense 90 physical you've got anticipate and aerial I get VVD uh, VVD died uh, vibes from that. No, not even kidding. Because she's six foot two, she could be a really good card in game. I think between her and Karchawi, it might be close between who's the most expensive today. But it might end up being Karchawi. We'll just have to see. Those are all the cards that are dropping today, and the midfielders again are going out of packs. Quick question on the midfielders: Should we invest in them? I mean, we kind of already touched on that, but let's kind of include that with a team of your icon since they're both going out of packs today. The cards that are going out of packs, they interest me a little bit for a rise. Uh, but again, especially for these icons too, um, it just seems a little bit risky. I mean, Ribery dropped off a lot yesterday. He's 2.2 mil. Um, but the icons have a thing that's a little bit different than the actual team of the year cards. These are going to be out of packs most likely until Sunday. A lot of people have been asking me, Nate, will the team of the year icons come back into packs? The answer to that is yes. Last year, EA put them back into packs on Sunday with Team 2, like this upcoming sun Sunday after everything is in packs. These are kind of the last thing to get added again. So if you want to buy a Ribery for your team, if you want to buy a Javi, you might be okay if you buy it today. Um, the only thing I'd be careful with is, once again, the SBC that's coming today. It is a midfielder, and it's an insane midfielder. So that could hurt Javi. That could hurt Vieira even. Maybe even Ribery, if there's so much hype for the SBC today, we'll have to see. So I'm not personally going to invest in this stuff. I think it would drop lower when it gets re-released the second time next week into packs. Um, so I'd be careful with that. But there could be a rise between now and Sunday for these icons that maybe is profitable. Now, let's look at Team of the Year Icon Team 2 because this is the official stats, dynamics, and play styles when I see this, like, okay, Mia Ham is cracked. Rio Ferdinand looks pretty cracked. Mateus looks unbelievable. Even Lam and Essien are just icons that are always good in this game. But I look at an icon team, too, that's probably not as favorably rated and hyped as Team 1. I just don't think it's as good as Team 1. You've got R9 in Team 1, right? Um, you got all these great cards right now in packs. Ribery, even Czech being in Team is nice. But this still looks like a solid team, but I think it's not as good. And uh, they're probably going to be more rare today. But like I said, we're going to get lightning rounds. Let's actually talk about that next, right? Those are the icons coming today. Uh, let's talk about lightning rounds because I 100% think that we are getting the 85 times 7 lightning round today, guys. And that's the lightning round that EA has dropped every single release day for team of the year the attackers they drop it for the midfielders as well and that actually has impacted the market a lot on the fodder and on the icons there might be an opportunity today for these defenders since they're going to be a little bit cheaper and maybe the icons as well in that second to third hour after they get packed and packed from the lightning rounds i know it's a random tuesday who's going to be opening these packs on a random tuesday They'll get bought up. The 85 sevens and the defender specific packs will get bought up. They'll get bought out usually because EA is running these lightning rounds over like three, four, five hours time, sometimes six hours. Um, so watch for fluctuations as 
there's five cards from each the men's and the women's team that people could go out and try today. Um, so I think there's going to be a lot of demand there for people to try these since they'll be cheaper. And there's going to be supply for sure, as there has been every single day. So I'd be careful with those, but there could be some good fluctuations. Um, but again, probably less packs open today than Friday. So I would expect the defenders to move kind of like the midfielders did they might have a low day one tonight and then they'll rise back up a little bit but then probably drop some more on like wednesday especially heading into thursday when the whole entire team is going to be in packs i do think there'll be a decent amount of people panic selling before that so you'll want to be careful for sure uh, with all the team of the years but specifically the defenders tomorrow but maybe a quick situation there where you can buy and sell for a quick flip and more about the icons guys too is um or not the icons the pack supply with the 85 times sevens that has really created some really good market movements on fodder. This is something that I want to shout because I've seen it go crazy the past couple of days. And maybe we can find some graphs to support this. Now, I know Allison's going out of packs, but he's the first um, 89 rated card that I thought of. 36K right now for 89 rated cards in this game. Let's check, uh, let's check Salah's graph. He's been in packs the entire time. Let's go to hourly on Friday for Salah. He went from 44K all the way down to 30,000 coins went up right Saturday boom back to 36,000 coins right here we didn't have the big Saturday lightning rounds as we did on Friday or Sunday he went down a little bit and then went even higher right Salah up to 36 37,000 coins on Sunday we got the big lightning rounds again so from 37 38k down to 33 once again and probably achievable here or biddable winnable on bid is the wording i'm looking for for like 30k guys the bids during these 85 times sevens on the release days the lightning rounds that they drop the packs that are open um even today with 10 team using packs more people are going to be opening because they'll say oh 10 in packs better odds right get on bids that's the moral of this story get on bids yesterday he went from what 36 37 only down to 35 and now he's like 37k so especially for these 89s they seem to move very good but almost all fodder 86s, 87s, 88s, 89s. Get on the bids today. Maybe even 90s and 91s as well, right? Holland and KDB will both be in packs today um, as gold KDB will be back in. Get on the bids like an hour after content because the prices should drop, yet these cards are all still in such high demand because all the SBCs that are out and the exchange SBCs as well, people are really interested in those. So that's your biggest trading tip from me on the day. Um, even on Friday when we had the Icon George Best SBC and there was so much fodder demand for Bruno and George Best, the fodder price is still dropped. I think they will still be dropping today as well. Now, fodder is going to be even more in demand because this big SBC, and I've been waiting to talk about this because this is the most hyped SBC coming to team of the year so far this year. And it's Sawa, right? Sawa is coming as an SBC today as leaked by FIFA Romania. And then Foot Sheriff talked about it as well. Guys, this is massive. People have been talking about this. This is probably like even levels above the George Best. In all honesty, George Best is a big name, but Sawa in this year's game is just different. And everybody is super, super excited for this SBC. Now, the question is, how much is it going to cost, right? Because Sawa on the market is like 500k, but her card's been dropping off a lot since this leak was first put out. And I have to say, like, this could go a number of different ways. Remember, if you've seen the Team of the Year icon version of Javi, he got a massive upgrade, right? Like, they gave him a plus one overall from his 90 rated base card. Like, this is the craziest plus one ever. Plus six pace and shooting, seven defense and physical, and five passing and dribbling. I don't think they're going to give an SBC like Sawa that big of a boost. Now, thinking that, let's look and see how big of a boost that best got. He got plus twos, fours, and five defense and five physical. That seems more likely for a card like Sawa. Maybe plus two or three overall. So maybe she's 93 rated, just like George Best. And of course, we're hoping for the double playstyle plus addition to her card. If she gets the relentless playstyle plus, maybe it's four star, five star with high, high work rates. Um, and you give her, again, relentless playstyle plus and maybe like incisive pass like this card would be unbelievable she's also got first touch and press proven press proven would be crazy too um but this that's why this spc is so hyped man this card is so good in game it's regarded as an insane midfielder by so many top tier pros you see this card all the time in the fc pro live events because it's just such a great icon card so overpowered in game as a cam as a box-to-box -box center mid with the work rates and the relentless plus 
That's why there's so much hype for this one today. We've been talking about it in the stream. We've said that two mil would be an SBC price that would seem expensive, but it's going to be expensive, right? All the SBCs that have been released recently have been of a higher price because EA know we can craft it all, right? And we're able to pay those higher prices because there's so many packs. Two mil seems a bit steep, but I think it's possible. If they don't upgrade the card that much, maybe it's a bit cheaper. Maybe it's like 1.5 million coins, but I just know there's going to be a lot of hype for that SBC today. Now, how is it going to impact the rest of the market? Since it's so hyped, yes, there's going to be a need for fodder to get that done but once again you and me both if we're not opening packs until thursday friday this weekend we're probably not going to go and buy fodder today for this so i think with the supply during the lightning rounds you can bid on fodder for some quick flips and trades but um i don't think it's going to go crazy high today i mean team of the weeks would be a watch as well but team of the weeks are just kind of slowly starting to steady steady rise as well they were 28k yesterday at one point late night tonight there's some good lightning rounds going on so the 86 pluses, right? And some of the other LRs that are still out there dropping these down just a little bit. Uh, I know when the 86 pluses don't just give 86 plus players, they give other players as well. Hence the team of leaks getting supplied. But um, these were all 28, 29K yesterday. I'm still lazy selling all the informs that I bought. I got two lazy sales yesterday at 30, what is it? Giroud and Rami got 33K. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. I still have a bunch on my transfer list that I'm still lazy listing up and trying to sell. Um, and I think those cards are going to be in demand. They'll probably be required for Salah. But watch for other midfielders. Midfielder market panic could happen a bit today if there's, you know, think about this is the first card that comes to my mind. But like Federico Valverde, that's a box-to-box -box midfielder. I know this radioactive card for him is really expensive. It's like 900K and probably dropping because now people saw him in the vote and they think he's going to get an honorable mention, which is probably true. But like this card being 900K, a card like this could potentially take a hit today because of the Sawa SBC being out. So watch out for your midfielders. And that's that's a big enough SBC. Again, it could cause some panic across the whole entire market, kind of like the George Best situation did earlier this past weekend in the start of team of the year now what else is happening today what uh, tuesday content checkup i guess what else are we getting today refreshes of all the sbcs i gotta finish off my 83 fives the 83 10 is gonna refresh today i think an sbc that's re uh, expiring is the 87 plus yeah the radioactive dynasties and team of the group stage player pick i guess they could refresh this or it might just go away and be done not entirely sure uh, maybe they replace it with something today, but there's so many upgrade packs that are out right now. It might just be the Sawa and then all the cards and packs for what EA wants us to focus on today on this game. Now, there is an Evo leak. Um, we haven't got many Evos in the midweek recently, but I guess there's potential for this one to be dropping today. Team of the Year, Hot Prospect. Sounds like another Evo where you're going to take somebody who is low rated and boost them up to something that is more meta, usable, higher rated. Kind of like all the Evos we've been having during Team of the Year. Again, um, I don't know. We'll have to see. There's no um, requirements right now that have been leaked for this uh, Evo, but it is a center back evolution. And I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but um, Adair Militao was on the top of Footbin yesterday for a while, and his card price was going up because evidently he is getting either pumped and dumped for this Evo or he actually fits the requirements. Again, Adair Militao does not strike me as a type of player who is a quote-unquote hot prospect though so i'm really not sure um how this is going to end up working out or if he actually fits the evo or if he doesn't uh we'll look at more uh news if we get any news uh, uh, in the next day or two but i wouldn't even expect this to come in the next day or two man it seems like we've been only getting evos on the weekends like we maybe have a few less evos right now because some of them have expired recently there's a couple here less than what we normally have there's even some other ones that are expiring here pretty soon um, in the next couple of days. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think we're going to get an Evo today, maybe Wednesday at the earliest, but this Evo might not actually be dropping until the weekend unless they surprise us in the midweek. I have to choose somebody to make a red Evo card and I just can't decide right now. I got to fix that up. I did start Chris Richards and keep up yesterday um, and I'm still waiting on uh, Weston McKenney. Guys, also, I did drop a video on the second channel. If you want to hear more about Evos, we had a conversation yesterday talking about the whole unclaimed Evo situation because I do have some thoughts on that. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link right up here, of course, as we do. Last thing I want to show you, the EA content tweet or I guess Instagram post because they haven't been tweeting these. Um, we are getting League One Player of the Month, which is, once again, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Don't think that's today. I think that's going to be um, probably Wednesday or Thursday. Team of the Year, Live Foot Friendly. I think that's definitely coming this weekend. 
And then same thing with the Evos, man. Like, Evos have only been dropping on weekends. The Team of the Year icons, probably Sawa. Moments SPC, I don't know if Alex Morgan was a part of that since she was dropped yesterday or two days ago, I mean. Uh, and that was technically, I guess that was technically Sunday. So I don't know if Al Alex Morgan is a part of that or not. And then the flashback leak, the only one that we still have right now is Conte. So doesn't look like a crazy week to be completely honest, but it's team of the year. So it is a crazy week on this game. And uh, yeah, guys, I think that's about it for the video today. I'm going to keep stacking up some packs. Uh, oh, one thing I'll say, very, very last thing I will say is if you're building a bunch of packs and you have a lot of coins, be careful buying a bunch of gold rares because I've been hearing that a lot of people are getting transfer banned or like market banned, not like a coin white banned, but like they won't allow you to bid or buy cards um, if you're making too many packs at one time. All right, yeah, now there's a lot of people bidding at 650, right? I should probably stock up on some of these before they go higher. Um, but try to try to space it out. Like if you're bidding on the companion app, maybe do a few and then switch to the web app if you can, or if you're on console, like maybe do like 10 packs or something like that and then and then play a game and and space up your time because it seems like the the banning system is kind of uh shadow banning if you will or giving you a market it's more like a timeout like a market timeout they're happening really really fast and quickly so uh yeah that's one thing that i would say be a little bit careful with if you're crafting a lot of upgrades on this game in the next day or two, and even next week as well. Be careful with that. So that's going to be a video today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description as well. It's been Nathan Foot Account. I'll catch you guys there. Peace.